God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Alleluia. O God of splendor, source of light, by your serene and shining ray, the day unfolds and floods the sky. When hours of night have run their course, for you are Earth's true morning star, and not that star so frail and small, which shines with pale and narrow gleam. As herald of the coming day, but you are brighter than the sun, the light itself and perfect day, who bring to light with piercing beam the inmost regions of our heart. May chastity of mind and soul subdue what flesh and pride desires. And keep the body chaste and pure, the spirit's holy dwelling place. Sit Christe rex pisime, tipi patrique gloria, cum spiritu paraclito, in sempiterna secula. Amen. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. You turn men back to dust, and say, "Go back, sons of men." To your eyes, a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like the grass which springs up in the morning. In the morning it springs up and flowers; by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you. Our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger. Our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly, and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger, and fears the strength of your fury? Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent! Is your anger forever? Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction, for the years we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Gloria, Patria, et Filio, 
et spiritui sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Each morning, Lord, you fill us with your kindness. From the farthest bounds of earth, may God be praised. Sing to the Lord a new song, His praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the coastlands and those who dwell in them. Let the steppe and its cities cry out, the villages where Kedar dwells. Let the inhabitants of Selah exult, and shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord, and utter his praise in the coastlands. The Lord goes forth like a hero, like a warrior he stirs up his ardor. He shouts out his battle cry, against his enemies he shows his might. I have looked away and kept silence. I have said nothing holding myself in. But now I cry out as a woman in labor, gasping and panting. I will lay waste mountains and hills. All their herbage I will dry up. I will turn the rivers into marshes, and the marshes I will dry up. I will lead the blind on their journey, by paths unknown I will guide them. I will turn darkness into light before them, and make crooked ways straight. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. From the farthest bounds of earth, may God be praised. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, servants of the Lord, who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing a psalm to his name, for he is loving. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, and Israel for his own possession. For I know the Lord is great, that our Lord is high above all gods. The Lord does whatever he wills, in heaven, on earth, in the seas. He summons clouds from the ends of the earth, makes lightning produce the rain. From his treasuries he sends forth the wind. The firstborn of the Egyptians he smote of man and beast alike. Signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land, O Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his servants. Nations in their greatness he struck, and kings in their splendor he slew. Sion, king of the Amorites, Og, the king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. He let Israel inherit their land. On his people their land he bestowed. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, 
et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. You who stand in his sanctuary, praise the name of the Lord. We should be grateful to the Lord our God for putting us to the test as he did our forefathers. Recall how he dealt with Abraham and how he tried Isaac and all that happened to Jacob in Syrian Mesopotamia while he was tending the flocks of Laban, his mother's brother. Not for vengeance did the Lord put them in the crucible to try their hearts, nor has he done so with us. It is by way of admonition that he chastises those who are close to him. Sing for joy God's chosen ones, give him the praise that is due. Sing for joy God's chosen ones, Give him the praise that is due. Sing a new song to the Lord. Give him the praise that is due. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sing for joy God's chosen ones. Give him the praise that is due. Blessed be the Lord. For he has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, From the hands of all who hate us He promised to show mercy to our fathers And to remember his holy covenant This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham To set us free from the hands of our enemies Free to worship him without fear Holy and righteous in his sight All the days of our life You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has come to his people and set them free. Because Christ hears and saves those who hope in him, let us pray. We praise you, Lord, we hope in you. We thank you because you are rich in mercy and for the abundant love with which you have loved us. With the Father you are always at work in the world. Make all things new through the power of your Holy Spirit. Open our eyes and the eyes of our brothers to see your wonders this day. You call us today in your service. Make us stewards of your many gifts. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. O God, who to safeguard the Catholic faith and to restore all things in Christ, filled Pope Saint Pius X with heavenly wisdom and apostolic fortitude, graciously grant that following his teaching and example, we may gain an eternal prize through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Dominus nos benedicat et ab malo defendat, et ad vitam perducat eternam. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 